Hello, hello! Daily run time. What is this? Kane? Kane with this one eye and a look foot, lucky foot. And we're only going to the mom fight, so we need to go fast and we need to do it well. And of course, oh, how to play this game? Okay, bad, bad start. Bad, bad start. Let's uh, try and control these ads. Wow, well, that, that room just basically confused the shit out of me, so let's just uh, call it a learning curve, learning experience, and move on. Hmm, we start with the one key. Wonky donkey, and the paper clip, which allows us to get into golden chests without paying for the key costs of it. We have the lucky foot, which means we're going to get a decent amount of um, drops, it uh, like room rewards type drops, plus many things are based on luck, for example, tooth shot and the plays on those arcade machines. They're all based on luck which the lucky foot gives us a benefit to. So there are a lot of good reasons to have a good luck stat. Besides the fact that, you know, it's just a stat. It, it seems like one of those stats doesn't necessarily help you during the run because it's it's in the background. It it, it, it doesn't immediately make a massive difference to what you're doing. It's not like it's a huge damage upgrade or anything. Mind out for these random shots, which always seem to be firing at you. Am I right, friends? Come on. But luck is a uh, it's a decent background stat and it really can help with oh, fucking Locus fucking horns. It's bullshit. Locus horns, I guess, is one that benefits from the luck stat as well. So I've just done a on my own I've done a what's his name? Judas run. I got I had Locus horns for the entire run, sort of forgot about it, because that's another one of those things you don't really think about. It really does oh, I fucking hate Ragman by the way. It really does you any immediate benefit. Does locust horns? You pick it up anyway because you go, oh, what, what, what's the worst could happen, right? Well, the worst could happen, it turns out, is you then pick up Ipecac, and then every f shot you fire has a chance of being four exploding shots, any one of which could hit a wall and explode you instead. Yeah, nice one. There is a way out of that particular shit show that I got myself into. Excuse me. Whereby you can get spectral tears, which don't hit the walls anymore. But I think the more important thing here is don't take it to cack if you have locust horns. Same with Mom's Eye, which is eye in the back of your head, which has basically the same effects as locust horns, except you only get the one backwards instead of four in a, in a cross shape. See, I can't imagine that locust horns has really done any benefit for us. Occasionally, it may produce uh, a shot that actually goes somewhere that you care about, but generally not. That was a... More than two minute floor, so we'll move on. I uh, can't get in there. I'm hoping to find a spirit heart before we wish that we had found one, if you see what I mean. Before it's too late and we should have had one earlier, I'm going to try and find one. I don't know how to find one, except to explode a tinted rock or randomly get one out of pure luck. Either of these will do. The wafer will help us if we get past the mom fight. But for now, we're focusing on finding protection so that you can take a deal with the devil because this is a daily, we don't need to worry about anything else. Uh, except all the enemies in between me and the end of the game. Now, the mom fight means we only have to do boss rush. We only get to do boss rush, but it means we do have to do boss rush. Or, that's it. We're, uh, we're out of the runnings, basically. Like at the Olympics, if you trip over your hurdles instead of actually hurdling, then you will not come close to the top of the leaderboards on the hurdles race. So all our hurdles right now are effectively damage that we shouldn't be taking and just taking a lot of time over simple rooms like this fucker. There we go. More HP but not not HP that covers us in the event of a... It's not insurance HP, it's not going to cover us in the effect of an accident even if it was at work and even if it wasn't my fault. Which is all of them. Nothing's my fault. Ooh, that was very close. I was about to uh, about to complain to various deities, but uh, I didn't need to. Let's see if there's a secret room down here. We have got a couple of bombs. Secret room? Oh, there isn't. Well, fuck you then. Ah, uh, screw it. Let's go for the boss. We've got a bomb which we can use to um, to attack said boss. Only pin, but pin has been known to jump out of nowhere and hit the shit out hit the shit out of me, which is an expression we have in English. So anyone who's not English will obviously need to brush up. 
on their uh, on their vocab there because we say that all the time. Been about you. Come on, pin. You ain't got time. That's it. Excellent, excellent, excellent. We'll go in here without taking that. And I wish I had not. Why? Because I really want to take the pact. Now here's a question. Do I go out and hope that it's still open? Yes. It's not still open. That's really shitty. We may be doing an Angel run. Oh, what a misplay. That is such an often... Oh. The, okay, I was right, wasn't I, that there was not... There's a fucking spirit heart right now. I was right that there wasn't a single spirit heart in that entire floor. I could have done that extra room. Didn't really want to waste the time. Wow. It may not have been wasting the time, but I would, felt like it was wasting time at the time. If I had a spirit heart at that point, I could have taken what I wanted and still got my HP upgrade, but I couldn't take it. So now, we don't have to deal with a devil precedent. And for the first time in... The entire life of our dailies, I believe, we have Angel Room. We don't have Devil Preston, which is not the same as having Angel Preston. We still could get uh, a Devil item. But it's uh, oh, a Devil Room. But it's less likely. There's a chance that we will be given an opportunity for the Angel to give us something amazing, which could be anything. The Angel Room pool is a lot, a lot more diverse than the Devil Room pool, and it's a lot less. Oh, fuck you. It's a lot less like that it actually gives you an item in the first place. Now we've uh, got ourselves into a position where we can't get hit again. Because I've managed to squander my spirit heart already. These fucking butt lickers, which is literally what they're called by the way, uh, can fuck right off. I hate them. You can't shoot them unless they're coming at you. Fucking clear patch are coming at you. Oh, we've got another one. Brilliant! And then, oh, just don't get me started on butt lickers. That's a good opportunity for some decent stuff. Two, two golden chests, both of which we open for free. We've got a spirit heart and Bob's rotten head. Bob's rotten head is n probably no use to anybody ever. I will not be taking that either. Except you can maybe find a, a yeah, secret room is what I was thinking. Uh, yeah, you can have that. Except you can't. Please give it back. Wow, a dime as well. And we got our key back, even though I didn't mean to spend it in the first place. Uh, yeah, let's recharge Bob's Rotten Head, because why the fuck not, I suppose. It does do poison damage as well. Help. Help. Oh, yeah, dick. What do we even do in this situation? <laughs> that spider was controlling the area, the middle of this room like a fucking pro. I couldn't avoid these sons of a bitch, because there's a spider in the way. I have to hand it to that spider. That was mad strats. Mad fucking strats. It wasn't a, uh, it wasn't a tanky enemy, it wasn't a strong enemy, but they really knew how to use their assets very well indeed. Uh, we'll put a bomb here and hope for a super secret room. There's not one, but we can put another one here and open this and get something better than Bob's Rotten Head. Or just a shitload of money, which also works, I'm happy with that. Here's the, uh, the boss. I was kind of hoping to get more than one enemy with... Bob's Rotten Head there, but no worries. We're getting here for free, which gives us the Bible, which could actually be better than the Bob's Rotten Head, if I'm being honest. We will take this, because it gives us the opportunity to pick up another uh, trinket without replacing the paperclip, which is a great trinket. And, oh, fuck me. What is this? I should have kept Bob's Rotten Head for this room. They've managed to make the Hollow a difficult boss. Kudos. Mad kudos to you. Because, well, normally I will walk into the Hollow anyway, but now... Very difficult not to. Help! <laughs> oh my god. You're seeing this, right? This is not just me. This is hard as fuck. Shit. Please. <laughs> Please go away. Thank you. That was a hard room. Uh, let's do this. That was a lot of damage just for one hollow fight. Cause it was such a tiny room. Jesus Christ. Challenge anybody to get that room right. I was thinking of using the Bible to get in here. And I probably should have. Then I realised there's HP on the ground, knocking around. We've got a guppy's collar. The item we didn't take would cause bombs to show up. Troll bombs, live bombs, to show up whenever we got hit. Which is interesting, but also hateful. So, maybe I'm going to not do that. Taking some time on this floor as well. But we got HP, probably wasn't worth it. I'm going to say it wasn't worth it. But let's get a press on, we need to get to boss rush. 
But we can kill Mom instantly as long as we haven't used the Bible. Oh, there's fucking HP right here, you dick. As long as we have not used the Bible when we get to the Mom fight, we can kill Mom straight away. So the Bible is probably a good pickup here, just for the purposes of the amount of time we're going to spend on that floor. Which is a, a very specific concern to, to consider. But it, it does really, really speed up that... Oh, I dodged that one and walked onto that one. That says, folks, we're not getting angel room now. We've got the wafer, though. Ah, we've got the wafer. The wafer doesn't halv all damage. It makes sure all damage is only half a heart. Wow, get out of there. Phew, I did it. Probably have been a good room to use the uh, Bible on, maybe? Not sure. Give us an extra bit of maneuverability, but, you know, start it's all finish. Under the Britishism that non British people should be fully aware of. And we got the uh, battery charge anyway, so it would actually have definitely been a good idea to use the Bible at this stage. Never mind. What's done is done. You took a lot of it. Hits. Um, what was I talking about? Someone remind me. Commenters. Please. Live commenters, are you there? No? What happened to my, uh, my troop of advisors? Do I not get one? I was promised a troop of advisors. Am I to put starches right now? What was I talking about? We are talking about the Bible and how we can use it to speed up the mom fight. I was talking about the wafer, which causes all HP to be taken to be half a heart. Even if it would normally have been a full heart. Which also, I believe, is true of the self-sacrifice room. So if you find one, we should do it. Because it will take us half as much HP as it normally would. Will you fuck off? I hate these things. Get rid of the fucking spawner. There we go. So much HP on this entire room. It takes us a long time. Oi. Okay, that's there. Can't get that coin. So the self-sacrifice room is um very, very viable right now. I'm going to use the Bible here. So that I can fly and beat the shit out of this son of a bitch from the sidelines. Yep, it's it's cowardice, pure and simple. But I'm not here to be honourable. I'm here to win. I'm here to beat the game, not join it. There's no point in uh, letting the game play me and defeat me in ways that I can avoid. I, s I can't fly anymore. Just just point that out. Can't fly anymore. It's very easy to get into the mindset that you can fly. You know, it's one room's worth of flight and suddenly you're fucking Superman. No. Also, please stop getting hit by things you know how to avoid. We do have Guppy's collar. We could sort of... I'll take a, a few coins out here. We could, um... We could come back to life, but it's not something you can count on, so... Let's get rid of everyone in here. Oh, thank you. We haven't actually found either of the rooms we want to find yet, so we can get into both for free now. So that's pretty cool. Excuse me? Uh, I'm pretty sure spiders have a uh, three-tile attack range, not a 25-tile attack range, you son of a bitch. Now we've got to beat all these fucking spiders in there. It's not going to happen, man. Should have gone back and got the um, battery charge for our Bible there. It's okay. This floor has caused us damage. <clears throat> I suspect that I'm about to blame the fact that we don't have much damage of our own. And I'm going to take Cursed Eye because I don't know what's good for me. More fucking spiders. Cursed Eye is a charge shot, which fires four tiers like this. However, if you get hit before you are fully charged with it, you will teleport. Which sounds like a boller of a good time, right? The main reason that I've taken Cursed Eye is A, we haven't had an upgrade for quite some time because I fucked up that first floor deal with the devil and fucked up every fucking standstill. Jesus Christ. I will end you. In fact, I did. That's not much of a threat when it's an enemy that you basically are supposed to end. Uh, and also because it allows us to sort of... It allows us to charge up four tiers worth of damage and unleash it all at once. Maybe I shouldn't have bought this quite yet. That's fine. So have Loki's horns. Obviously. We're not going to just get rid of it for arbitrary reasons. But I thought it was notable that Loki's horns is... Occasionally doing not much use. Which is kind of what I expected of it, really. 
Up on here, this is almost certain to see. 14 minutes. Uh, some red HP. We are on Catacombs 2, so we have basically 6 minutes to do 2 floors. Who, Whose size we don't know. I'll use this, just in case. I don't know, I feel like we're more manoeuvrable when we can fly, even though there's no obstacles on the ground. Maybe it's a psychological thing, or maybe it literally does give you a bit of speed bonus. Who knows? Let's try not to uh, teleport, though. With Cursed Eye, I mean. Not to get hit whilst we're charging. Please. How little damage are we doing? Don't even have a... We don't have a temporary damage boost either, which is always the worst. When you have poor damage, but no way of even temporarily rectifying it. you just got to keep can plug in on. But there's a chance we don't... The patch would have been an amazing pickup. Oh, we do still have Devil Precedent. That's really nice. Oh, we got Brimstone. We win. I'm going to take this as well because I'm feeling cocky. We got a pretty fly. I was hoping it was a uh, health upgrade, which would be a health upgrade even if we're a health downgrade because when you've only got one red HP, health downgrade pills become health upgrade pills. If you don't know what Brimstone does, it owns the shit out of everything. There we go. Uh, we've got a very slow charge. Probably because of Cursed Eye, I have to imagine. But I kind of prefer charged tears, charged shots. We also picked up contract from below, by the way. Uh, I prefer charged shots because you can sort of, you can prepare them and unleash the fury of your might upon everything all at once. Right, we'll take this since it's another thingy. I think this, if you get hit, re-rolls stuff or something weird like that. Still pretty cool, whatever it is. I like it. I like the idea of that, even if that's not what it does. I'm going to take it in case that is what it does. Where's this fucking hopper gone? There it is. Fuck you! Gotcha. Right, we should be able to go a bit quicker right now. We'll do this, because it's points. I'm doing this, because if we can't go that bit quicker, um, we're going to be in trouble. We should probably use the Pandora's box now as well. Let's talk about what we got. We've got Brimstone, which obviously beats the shit out of everybody, and if you're actually watching rather than listening, and haven't seen Brimstone before, you're in for a treat. When you should have had a treat, and if you're just listening now, you should probably watch because, oh my god, this is why we play this game. We got Contract from Below. Oh, that's amazing, I've forgotten this happens. We got Contract from Below, which allows us to... Well, it, it doubles every reward we get from a room. So if it's chests or keys or coins, you get two of them. Please. We got... Cursed Eye is no longer relevant. But you'll see that Locust Horns is still doing its cross tiers thing. Occasionally we get four brimstones shooting out of all sides of our head. Which are, I expect is just very valuable. It's hard to imagine that that's a bad thing. That makes sense. We're going slowly, so I'd like to be able to speed up a little bit. But I think brimstone will help here. But what I'd really like is some form of mapping. Even if it's temporary and only for the next floor. Um, some sort of mapping would greatly improve our speed. It's difficult to miss with Brimstone because it's got infinite range and it's got instant range as well except for that small amount that you know tails off towards the end. It's got a little bit of a bend at the end but you know. I mean, you don't need to be rude about it. And we found our boss fight which is nearby. We've got a kill we don't recognize. It's health up which could have been a health down. Uh, it's also piercing. So basically, Brimstone owns everything. It is probably one of the best items in the game. It makes it very difficult to lose, but it is possible to lose with Brimstone. It does not win by itself. However, I think we're doing well enough that it kind of does. That makes sense? Seriously? Ow! <laughs> I got hit! I didn't charge up! Yeah, one of the major downsides of Brimstone is how easy it is to not be charged when you think you are. Uh, fuck off. Krampus, you dick. Look, sometimes my commentary reverts, and uh, I have to say things like, fuck off Krampus, you dick. I did open that chest, I knew it was going to hurt me, I opened it anyway. I've got a lump of coal, and placenta. Right, we've got two minutes to get to the boss, oh shit. Right, let's look at the map quick. We've got, we got the requested some form of mapping, it's probably this way. Which is good, because that goes via the item room. Lump of Coal does synergize with Brimstone, in case you're wondering what it- Excuse me, you're supposed to switch off, yes. In case you're wondering what it does, uh, anything that's- All your shots as they get further away from you do more damage. 
And you'll see now that Brimstone increases its size as you get towards the end. We've still got our Bible, by the way. Don't forget that. Uh, towards the end of the Brimstone, it's wider. And I believe that means it's doing more damage. The Placenta is regen and HP up. How did I not take damage just now? I will never know. Um, excuse me. So the HP upgrade, pretty obvious what that does. We've got time. We can explore this floor. Don't forget, the mom fight is an instant kill. But the uh, the other thing Placenta does... Uh, pardon me. I want to stay in this room, please. Is occasionally it will just randomly give us half an HP. Which is what the regeneration part means. There we go. Although we didn't need it, we got it. Steam sale is probably no use to us. Now, here's the question. What are we going to do after the mom fight? I bought it anyway. I'm just saying. <laughs> no use, but I've got it. Um... After the mom fight, we need to get out and back into this room. Just, we need to get out and back into the main floor because we can't leave it. What happened there? Pretty sure that uh, bomb just changed into that. That, oh, that hate your speed down there was definitely coins just now, right? Ah, uh, we can't spend the time. Come on, let's go. We need to get back into the main floor because we need to get down further. So unless this boss fight has got... Dead. Uh, I was going to say unless this deal with the devil or this boss rush fight has got a way through. we got nothing. There's no way of us leaving this floor. We can't get any further. I didn't see a self-sacrifice room. And even if there were a self-sacrifice room, which actually I should have probably checked for before we did this, but that's fine. Even if there were a self-sacrifice room... Wow, come on now. There we go. Uh, we can't get back to it. We're stuck in the mom fight. We're stuck in boss rush. So, unless there's something I haven't thought of, there's no way of us getting out. We can't go to the next floor, which is a shame. Right, we can fly now. Bible, by the way, only instant kills mom. Unless you fly the rest of the time, but only mom is instant killed by the Bible. Not true. Mom's heart is also instant killed by the Bible. This fucker, though. End you. Come on. Be further away. Ah, oh, I thought I could charge up faster. I can't. Yeah. It's definitely doing more damage when it's further away. <laughs> As evidenced by the fact that that thing over there, whatever the hell it was, died almost instantly. What's this? Oh, it's you. I thought it was a uh, Gerdy or something. You died from something else. This could be good. I wonder whether the, um... I wonder whether the coins we get from breaking the golden heart that we just got would be worth more points than we would get for losing the HP in the first place. Now there's two of them. So we need to lose two HP. Somehow. <laughs> Which means I should probably lose it in here. Because I don't think I can hurt myself anywhere else. But I've got, I've got seven bombs, what are you talking about? Where's war at? Man, we're charging our brimstone that much slower than I anticipated. Oh, spiders are helping. Mom's weak, by the way, which I didn't even talk about. Well, as long as you're firing... I believe as long as you're holding down the fire button. Mom's weak just randomly produces spiders. And since we're Kane, we've got the luck foot. Or the lucky foot. Oh, whoops. Something slowed me down. What did I walk off? I don't know. Ah, I hit the pedestal in the middle of... As long as we're Kane and got the lucky foot, then we should get a good payout from from that Mom's Wig. Because I assume that Mom's Wig is based on your luck stat. Or at least the spider payout. We've got a good amount of spiders, and our damage is high because we have, you know, laser death in our face. Now, why am I not taking this pill? I'm hoping that this pill is telepills. Ah, I'll tell you what, it's probably the cracked dice, isn't it? Like, if I get hit again, do I re-roll all this stuff? Let's find out. Uh, maybe not. <laughs> I tried to get hit and I failed. What is wrong with me? That's the sort of shit I always walk into because I'm a dumbass. Forgot the haunt did things. <laughs> I was just like, yeah, haunt, whatever. Forgot it was uh, actually possibly kind of difficult. 
There's things on the ground that I don't remember showing up. So maybe I got hit and caused a reroll? No, I would have been hit a second time and it would have rerolled my coins. Which could reroll into a teleport. Look, I'm clutching at straws. Yeah, it did. Ooh. So I've still got the coin that we started with. We've got Cricket's body. It's 48 hour energy, which doesn't help anybody. Uh, I didn't mean to pick those up. I'll take this just in case, and then I'll explode myself to get those. And then I'll explode myself to re-roll everything. Didn't re-roll everything. Excuse me? Re-rolls, no? You fucking dick. Well, we've got a full charge on our Bible, we picked up Cricket's body, and now we're stuck in here. Uh, there is no self-sacrifice room, so I don't feel too bad. But that's it. Thank you for watching. We are taking this, and we're leaving. How did we do? Uh, apparently we're doing it during... No, here we go. 11.34. There's got to be a way of doing better than that. Let's have a look. Friends. Global. Uh, some of these are legit. Yeah, some people have gone all the way to... I guess some people found a way of doing a self-sacrifice room at some point, but I didn't. So we are calling it here. Thank you for watching. And if you enjoyed it, let me know. If you didn't enjoy it, let me know. You know the drill. Like, subscribe. Tell all your friends. Get the word out. We want people I don't know complaining about my video. So let's make that happen. And I'll see you whenever.